Something really special happened here at Sun and Fun 2019 yesterday. One gentleman just passed 10,000 hours in a P51 Mustang. And that person is my friend, Lee Lauderback. Lee, how are you doing? I'm great, Russ, how are you doing? Doing good, it's good, good to, to see, see you again. Glad to see the uh, crazy horse here. Now, 10,000 hours, that's a lot of time. Let's compare that to a combat pilot in World War II. What, they, what might they get? Russ, probably in the neighborhood of two to 500 hours, uh, you know, being in theater. Uh, some guys more, maybe most guys less, but uh, you know, they moved on to the Jets and got gotcha. into different careers. But you've been doing this for a few years, so you had a little bit more time in it, right? Well, this is my 32nd year of flying 32. the Mustang. 32. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Well, today, if you don't mind, I'd, uh, how about we climb up here, take a look, and you give me a little cockpit check out again? Well, that'd be great. It was what? We flew together in 99? It was 99, You're correct. You're overdue for recreation. I am training, very sir. much overdue, so <laughs> let's, do let's, it. let's do it. Well, Lee, it feels great to be back in a P-51 cockpit again. So give me a refresher. I'm sure I can use it. Well, you look marvelous in the airplane to start like, out. So. I, like the way, I like the way it looks. <laughs> so a couple of things that uh, let's review on the aircraft. Okay. That, uh, remember, the Mustang is very much a trim airplane. Yes, I do. You know, stall speed in the 75, 78 knot range in the top end, 440. So yeah. remember, you're going to have to use the elevator trim quite a bit. Okay, over here also, on the left. Yeah, and, and also the rudder trim. Gotcha. Um, because the, the vertical stabilizers, you remember, is not really on at zero angle. It's got an offset. I had forgotten. That's, yeah. yeah, I do remember that now. So it counters the torque, but as you go faster, it overcorrects. Yes. Therefore, it takes left rudder. Yeah. And as you decelerate and you add in some of the torque effects, now it's right rudder. So keep in mind, hey, use the rudder, use the rudder trim, use the elevator. Gotcha. Aileron, it has aileron trim, but mm -hmm. really just set it and forget it. Gotcha. So, uh, a little different than some of the airplanes you find. Remember, the Mustang has an automatic mixture control. I don't remember, but I'm glad to hear that yeah. since I'm getting ready to take this thing out for a solo flight. Oh, good, minute. yeah, <laughs> good to go. So as you climb, you won't have to lean it out like you would a normal aircraft. Okay. Or as we descend, we won't enrich it. In. We'll set it for conditions, and the automatic mixture control will now handle all the optimum mixturization. Now, were the ones back in World War II set up with that kind of mixture? It certainly was. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's what he sold in the Mustang because it's a pilot-friendly airplane that took a, lay, took a lot of the duties away from the pilot. Think mixture control, think coolant door, you know, mm -hmm. it simplified your task as a combat pilot. I got you. So, okay, uh, power settings. <clears throat> Let's look at power yes, uh, takeoff, you might remember. We're going to use 55 inches of manifold yeah, pressure. Yeah, I was floored when you told me yeah. that, and I do remember. <laughs> a combat power setting would have actually been 61, but we don't have the drop tanks, we don't have guns, ammunition. So we have a cleaner, lightweight airplane. Okay. The other is that the fuel was different fuel. We're using 100 low lead today. The airplane was designed for the high octane for detonation. Sure. So by reducing that power setting, we actually build a margin over detonation and that helps us immensely. And that's why you were able to run such high manifold pressures, right? Exactly. So, you know, 55 inches, as you know, is a ton of power. Oh, yeah. You know, when yeah. you go out there today, you'll probably use 40 and think it's more than yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be careful with it. <laughs> <laughs> propeller control, same way. We'll take off with a propeller control full forward. Okay. So it'll be governed to 3,000 RPM. Keep in mind, very interesting in the Mustang, it's actually a geared engine. So when we talk RPM, we're actually talking engine RPM, not propeller okay, RPM. Okay, gotcha. So it's geared at 0.479 to one is the ratio. So at 3,000 RPM on takeoff, propeller's turning actually around 1,500, give or take. Gotcha, now is this, so, a, is this a Packard or a, or a, a Rolls Royce? This is a Packard built okay. Merlin in this one. Okay. So uh, great, oh my gosh, as you know, and you I've talked about, it's the perfect marriage of airframe and engine. Oh yeah, that so was. Really, really works well. Yes. Uh, cruise power, we're gonna use 37 inches of manifold pressure. Okay. 2,300 RPM on okay. the gauge. So propeller's only turning about 1,200 at that point. Okay, so, so we got manifold pressure over here, tack here. So exactly That's what right. to keep my eyes on when it starts to yeah. get away from me. A uh, little different than the standard airplane, water glycol cooled, which okay. made the such the tight package that it is. Uh, so we've got a coolant door, very much like a car radiator, okay. as you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a door that opens and closes to modulate how much air goes through the radiator, which in turn controls the temperature. Mm -hmm. So again, the coolant and oil doors Okay, here. down here. Yeah, and we're gonna run those in an automatic position. So 
they will be up in that position. Okay. And we have an electrical override, which we can close the door down or open the door up. Now, if electrics fail, remember there's a cool and dump handle down mm. there below the right part of the seat okay. that you can actually pull up and it will mechanically open that door. All right. So coolant door operations, we'll run it in the auto and we'll monitor the coolant temperature. Okay. So you have two gauges in the front, I'll have one in the back. Okay. Oh, that's right, I'm not going with you. Yeah, it's just, I won't need you. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I've so, got insurance. <laughs> so unlike the standard Mustang, we have modern radios, yep. the modern radio package in the aircraft. And uh, so you'll be familiar with all of that. Yeah, you got your GNS 430 and some Garmin transponder. Yeah, yeah, and it's all it's all going that way. Have you got HP on this yet? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. Of course. It's it's the best. Thank of, you for asking. Best of all worlds. Yeah, thank you very much. So, okay, uh, let's review engine start for a yes, moment. Yes, sir, please. So, as we go through the checklist, several things will happen. Mixture will be idle, cut off, propeller will be cracked about one inch. Okay, gotcha. Propeller control full forward. Okay. Go ahead, the battery's off. Go ahead and turn the fuel boost pump on. That'll be the fuel boost pump. Mm -hmm. So, that'll allow us fuel pressure and then we'll prime the airplane. So let's okay. go ahead and just do a simulated prime okay. with a primer. You can come up on it. And we're gonna prime about eight seconds, eight to 10 seconds of fuel prime. So five, six, seven, eight. You think that's good? Yep, that'll work. Okay. okay, so we'll come off the primer. All right. Then we're going to come up on the starter. So the best way to handle the airplane is this finger on the starter, this okay. finger on the primer. Okay, okay. like don't, this. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna pull them. Yeah. So just like that, your yep. right hand is going to be over by the mag switch, so okay. you're going to be back over here with that. Uh, okay, gotcha. All so right. Keep in mind. It's like starting DC three. Yeah, respect. it's like the monkey in the yeah. football, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so keep in mind when you come up on the starter, mm -hmm. two functions are going to happen. Okay. The, the electrical starter is going to turn the propeller mm -hmm. and the engine, yep. and it is also going to provide ignition through a booster coil. So we'll get ignition even though the mag switch is off. Okay. So. We'll come up on the starter four blades as soon as it fires. We'll go mags to both. Okay. Once it fires, do mixture down to the auto okay. lean position. Gotcha. So, okay. And then once we get it running, the checklist will be starter guard down, check oil pressure up. Okay. And uh, for for the start side. So okay, let's come off back off with the uh, boost pump. Uh, supercharger. Uh, for today's operation, your flight, we really won't use the supercharger. I don't know. I'm thinking I might. How, how I'm, are you I'm, thinking about? I'm going? thinking about going up pretty high. Pretty high. Maybe I, I, I filed, so I'm, I'm planning on going up to about uh, thirty thousand. I think. Are you really? Yeah, uh -huh. you, you have oxygen, right? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. We'll keep it below eighteen. We'll keep it below twelve. You'll be at high lower then, so we'll do a high supercharger check. <laughs> okay. We'll get that. Yeah. Get into that. So, uh, fuel operation is, is a big <laughs> part of the Mustang, as you know. So the standard combat airplane had five fuel selections. So let's go through the fuel selector for okay. just a moment. All right. Go ahead and unlock the controls. Take the silver button down, way down low. Down here? Yeah, pull it out. All right. Let the stick come forward. Okay. And why don't we move the stick out of your way? Okay. I'll pull it back and That'll hold it work back. Good. So as you see, there are five positions. Yes, right sir. now, it's in the six o'clock. Okay. So let's go through those as a combat airplane okay. first. It, that would be the fuselage fuel cell. Okay. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and move it over to the left hand main. So. Good hard pull. Okay. That'll be the left main. That's the fuel system we're going to start on and take okay. off. Gotcha. We actually have a right aux tank come up clockwise one more to that position. That in a combat airplane, Russ, would be the right drop tank. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And if you look at it, it's pointing left, but it's the right drop tank. <laughs> okay. So yeah. why is it not intuitive? Well, it's because the way the engineers could simplify the plumbing underneath you. To, and still have it work. Yeah. So, ten o'clock is the right drop. Okay. The two o'clock, come back over one more clockwise. That would be the left drop. Yeah. Tank and now it's just another off plane. switch. Yeah. Okay. And since we don't have them, it's off. And then to the right main. And as you come back, one more would be off. Now so is we, is this an off the one at two? It is actually an off position. Okay. So we drop two. We don't have fuselage fuel. We don't have drop tanks, so we picked up two of those positions as off. Okay. We do have, in the right gun bay, if you look out on the right wing, we actually have 
a fuel cell out there that holds 45 gallons. Okay, gotcha. So we've got 225 gallons of fuel on board the airplane. And how long will that keep me in the air? Three hours and 30 Not minutes. Bad. Not bad. And at a true airspeed of about 285 knots. I think I can get to Atlanta on that. I think you put that, no problem at all. You go right back to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, so we'll take off on the left main. Okay. In about 30 minutes, we'll go to the right main. I don't have any aux fuel for you today, so right now we've got a two plus 25 airplane with a 30 minute reserve. Gotcha. So pretty good. We can go 500 miles pretty easy. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I think. Now, what'd you say the takeoff uh, uh, power settings were? Yeah, 55 inches propeller control full forward. Okay. I want you to climb at 46 inches of manifold. Okay, 46. Yeah. Top 2700 RPM. Yep. And then I want you to do, come back to a cruise climb of 42 and 25 inches. Of, Okay. So, well, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I think I've got it from here. You got it. Okay. okay. We'll get everybody away from the airplane. I'm going to go ahead and get it cranked up and we're going to get out of here. So, y'all have fun.